Welcome to 2023, where personal safety and self-defense have become increasingly important, as firearms continue to be a popular choice for those seeking to protect themselves and their loved ones. It's essential to stay informed about the best handguns available on the market. In this video, we will explore some of the top handguns you should consider owning in 2023. Let's dive into the world of handguns and discover which ones deserve a spot in your collection this year. Taurus G3X, $323. This compact 9mm is a simple and affordable handgun, designed to compete with the Glock G19. It's a polymer-framed, striker-fired pistol that comes with two 15-round magazines. The G3X is heavily influenced by the design of the Glock 19, which sets the standard for compact 9mm pistols, but it also distinguishes itself in ways that the G19 doesn't. For one, it has the same capacity as a G19, but sports a shorter 3.2-inch barrel of barrel length that's closer to micro 9mm territory. This gives it a slight edge for some methods of concealed carry, especially appendix carry. The Taurus G3X also features restrike capability with its single action trigger. This means that if you pull the trigger and the round fails to fire, you can pull the trigger again and it will re-engage the striker, hitting the primer again. The grip of the G3X was very comfortable to handle and shoot and it uses the increasingly popular fine stipple texture that is a world apart from polymer pistol grips of just a few years past. It's not abrasive, but gives the shooter ultra-secure traction. It's incredibly affordable, reliable, and seems to have no drawbacks in a configuration that more gun buyers want in an everyday carry or home defense gun. Taurus TX-22 Competition, $484. For starters, the TX-22 has a full-sized frame with a well-designed grip. Being a 22, it wouldn't be difficult to control under any circumstances, but the deep cut in the grip. Under the rear of the slide forms a nice beaver tail that allows the shooter's hand to snug up to the pistol. The swell in the backstrap and the finger grows on the front of the grit make the TX-22 as comfortable as a 70s-era Idorado. The TX-22 comes with an excellent ambidextrous manual safety. It has a low profile but is easy to manipulate with either hand. Some higher-end pistols could take a page from its design. The 16-round magazine is also very good. It approximates the dimensions of a double-stack 9mm magazine, making it easy to hold and maneuver. It also loads easily. One nice design element is how the optics plate mounts directly to the barrel, which in turn locks up to the frame so that it doesn't move under recoil. Consequently, keeping the red dot on the target is a snap and contributes to the pistol's fast and accurate shooting. All in all, the TX-22 Competition is a refined and eminently enjoyable pistol that packs a lot of smart features into its design and represents a good value for the money. Springfield Hellcat Pro $565 The Hellcat Pro is a Croatian-made striker-fired 9mm pistol with a polymer frame and steel slide with melanite finish. The slide is milled for a micro-red dioptic with a four-lug and two-screw footprint compatible with sights like the Shield RMSD and Springfield's own Hex Wasp. Like many of its peers, the Springfield Hellcat Pro seeks to strike a perfect balance between concealability and magazine capacity. In that regard, they did a good job. It is a hair smaller than a Glock 19 and a hair larger than the Micro 9s, but has a 15 plus 1 capacity with flush-mounted magazines. It is also trimmer than a G19 and has low-profile controls for snag-free carry. Like other Springfield pistols, it is spec-ed out with a solid list of features. It has a revisable magazine catch, a loaded chamber indicator on the top of the slide. It comes with two quality magazines, has a tough melanite finish, a generously sized accessory rail, and caulking serrations on the front and rear of the slide. The Hellcat Pro has excellent ergonomics. Its textured grip is secure and long enough for most shooters, and the longer slide reduces the snappiness of its smaller brother. CZ P10M, $505. The P10M is CZ's newest concealed carry pistol. It's a pistol with an ultra-slim grip and simplified controls that's meant to stand out in the white-hot market of micro-compact nines. The P10M is a polymer frame striker-fired pistol with one of the thinnest grips available. It uses a staggered magazine that transitions from double to single stack, allowing the grip to be so thin. The trade-off is that the P10M has limited capacity but its 7 plus, 1 rounds is still competitive.
The P-10M is designed as a concealed carry pistol, and its ergonomics show that beveling on the slide and low-profile sights are intended to aid in concealment and drawing from that concealment. Another notable feature is the internal slide stop. Upon firing the last round, the slide stop will engage and lock the slide to the rear, but there isn't a manual switch to drop the slide. While this feature might be a turnoff for someone accustomed to pressing the slide stop to reload, there's a strong case to be made for getting away from the technique. The P-10M features an accessory rail and front and rear caulking serrations that provide solid traction. The pistol is generally easy to hang on to due to its sharp stippling texture. Nighthawk Custom President $4,599 The President is a standard 5-inch government model version of the Chairman. It is a feature-rich pistol that represents the best of Nighthawk's components, craftsmanship, and creativity. The President features a unique slide configuration that includes heavy angle lighting cuts on each side and more aggressive forward and rear caulking serrations. The top of the slide received a tri-cut treatment with serrations and a narrow lighting port. Just forward of the dust cover, the slide has ball end mill cuts that are beveled to blend with the recoil spring tube. Chambered in the new 30 Super Carry from Federal Premium, the President is a highly refined single stack 1911. It comes with a DLC coated slide and frame, and the slide has front and rear caulking serrations, as well as weight reducing cuts that show off the gold colored titanium nitride finish on the barrel. As expected for the price tag, the President functioned flawlessly and was a dream to shoot. Although it's one of a handful of initial 30 Super Carry offerings, I feel that it isn't really the type of pistol that takes advantage of the cartridge's attributes. Springfield SA-35 $900 One of the most anticipated handguns of the year has been the Springfield Armory SA-35. This relaunch of one of the most popular influential 9mm pistols of the 20th century, the Browning High Power, or P-35 might have been a big risk, but Springfield nailed it. It features a simple mat, almost parkerized-looking blued finish on its forged carbon steel frame and slide. The improvements of the design are subtle but make a big difference in the end product, bringing it more in line with modern defensive handguns. The magazine capacity was increased to 15, compared to the original 13. The magazines still fit flush and function wonderfully. The hammer dimensions were changed slightly to decrease the propensity of the hammer to pinch the web of the hand when the slide travels all the way to the rear after the pistol is fired. The SA-35 had all-around strong scores in every category. This is one of the best new handguns on the market. For high-power fans looking for a new pistol, it's soft recoiling and didn't experience any malfunctions while burning through several hundred rounds of ammo. Smith & Wesson M and P2.0 10mm One especially hot category in the handgun market is the resurged 10mm auto. A lot of this can be attributed to its contemporary acceptance as a bare defense cartridge. The M and P2.0 10mm features a 4-inch barrel and is built on the M and P2.0 4-5 ACP frame. It comes with two steel 15-round magazines and several different handgun optics adapter plates. It's nearly a quarter pound lighter than a stock G20 and significantly more streamlined with interchangeable grip backstraps and rounded slide. A particularly notable feature on the M and P2.0 10mm is the grip. It has interchangeable backstraps and features a fine but aggressive stippling texture. Recoil of the 10mm tends to be pretty peppy and a grip that fits well in the hand and one you can hang on to is a huge benefit. The M and P2.0 10mm has an accessory rail that can host a light and has ambidextrous slide stop levers and a reversible magazine catch button. Red. Mounting is a cinch via the included mounting plates, and the pistol comes with tall sights that are co witnessable through many optics. Colt Python 3 inch, $1,253. This year, Cold expanded that relaunch with a 3-inch barrel model of their legendary Python in 357 Magnum. The Python 3-inch is a piece to look at, and the walnut grips possess an almost intrinsic warmth. The six-shooter scored very high among the test team in aesthetics, handling, ergonomics, and reliability, averaging very good to excellent scores for each category. Even after running the Python hard, the cylinder spun like butter and locked up smoothly with no slop. The fit and finish was excellent, and even the seam between the crane and frame almost disappears when the cylinder is closed.
The 3-inch python isn't the most versatile of the snake series, and certainly not as accurate as the longer-barreled models. These are the only areas of evaluation that the python average less than very good scores. The barrel is just long enough to have that signature python look and a single vent in the rib running along the top of the barrel. It features an adjustable rear sight and an interchangeable orange ramp front post if you need to make major changes to your elevation. Sig Sauer P210 Carry $1,500 The P210 Carry, the latest in the historic line of P210 pistols from Sig Sauer, is rooted in the tradition of its 1949 Swiss predecessor, but includes new checker G10 grips, a precision machine stainless steel slide, and lightweight aluminum alloy frame, equipped with Sig Light Night sights and two Atrial 9mm magazines. The P210 has always been hailed as one of the most accurate production pistols in the world something that has spawned dedicated fans of the platform, generation over generation. The P210 carry has nearly the same performance envelope due to its low-bore axis, full-length slide rails in the frame, top-notch trigger, and decent sights. The matte black grips pair well with the nitron finish that SIG used on the frame and slide, coupled with the stout defensive sights. It has a lovely crisp single-action trigger and the most aesthetically appealing safety and slide lock you'll find on any defensive handgun. The P210 carry pays homage to the foundational craftsmanship of its foreigner, while maintaining the features, weight, and balance of an ideal carry pistol. Smith & Wesson CSX $545 The CSX is a single-action hammer-fired pistol with an ambidextrous manual safety. That makes it a bit of throwback in a world of striker-fired micro-9s with internal safety components. That impression was reinforced by the pistol's lack of a cut for an optic and the absence of an accessory rail a pair of features that are nearly ubiquitous on new defensive pistols. Unlike many other micro, nines, the Smith & Wesson CSX isn't trying to be supermodel thin for maximum concealability. It's a curvy little number, but it has the curves in the right places on the grip where they provide the maximum benefit to the shooter. Coupled with middle-of-the-road stippling, the CSX strikes a nice balance between smooth, Low profile concealability and shooter control. Every judge on the test team commented on how comfortable the CSX was to shoot. The CSX comes with two magazines, one holding 12 rounds and the other 10. For a basic concealed carry pistol at a good price without a lot of frills, the CSX is a solid option.